Hey guys, Cassie Davis here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Today I'm going to do a get ready with me and show you some of my favorite products that I use in my everyday makeup routine. So let's get to it. I like to start off with a moisturizer or a primer and my favorite is this Elastin Skin Nectar. I do a lot of face treatments and I got this at one of the med spas that I do a face treatment at so I like to use this as like my base. It's almost like a silicone type feeling so it feels similar to a primer but it's a great moisturizer. I like to put a little small amount on my hands and then sort of spread it in my really dry areas like under my eyes, around my nose, get dry with my nose, my mouth. So moving on, after I put on the moisturizer, I move on to a mixture of sunblock and a little bit of foundation. So my favorite sunblock is the Elta MD UV Elements. Elta MD has a ton of different types of sunblocks. I like the UV Elements just because I feel like it works, it is what works best on my skin. And this is actually tinted as well too. And it's a really nice natural color. So if I don't wear foundation, I can always just wear this as well too. So I just put a little bit of this on my hands. And I also mix it with my favorite foundation, which is the La Mer Soft Fluid Long Wear. And I use the shade Warm Cameo. I just recently changed what shade I like because I did want to have a warmer foundation. My last foundation was a little more cool and I felt like it was making me look more pale in the face. So I feel like the warmer foundation helps just brighten my skin a little bit. So yeah, I just put a little bit on my hands, get my beauty blender, and just rub it all over. Yeah, that just provides a nice, even, natural complexion. And also, the sunblock is obviously great for protection. I live in South Florida, so the sun has been super crazy here. It's really freaking hot. So yeah, that's basically my foundation. After I apply my foundation, I like to put a little bit of concealer just in certain areas I want to highlight. I really like the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clot. I use this shade 1.5. Again, I used to use the shade 1, I believe, but now I'm opting for some more warmer tones because I just feel like it helps brighten the skin tone and create a more natural complexion than the cooler tone. So I just put a little bit in my eye. A little bit at the edges of my eyes, just really lift it. And then I apply my contour. I use the Anastasia Cream Kit. I really like destroyed this one color because this is the color that I use the most. And with the thin brush, I just kind of outline my nose on the sides just to really help. a little more try and get it down in here to help give my nose a little point I do a little thing at the top and then a little underneath 
I'm using the camera as like my makeup thing, so if I look crazy, that's probably why. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of try and make my nose a little thinner and then I contour just a little bit under my cheeks as well too. But overall, not too much. So after that, I go ahead and blend everything. Usually with the light areas, I'll just dab it with the back end of my sponge. And then with the darker contour areas, I'll sort of blend it with the side of my sponge. Next up, I add my eyebrows. And my favorite eyebrow product lately is from Refi Beauty. I absolutely love the Refi brand. I love their packaging, not only, but their products are so amazing. Refi actually is made by an influencer, Jess Hunt, and her brand is so amazing. She kills it on IG and she kills it with her products because I absolutely love them. And I'm obsessed with this eyebrow pencil. I actually really do love using eyebrow pencils and this one from Refi Beauty has the thinnest little tip on it, like the thinnest tip I've ever seen. So it's great to really help draw on the hairs. And on the other side, it has this pulley, so obviously you can brush your eyebrows out as well too. But yeah, I've always used um, eyebrow pencils. I really like eyebrow pencils. You know, I've gone between like the dip brow and the powder, but I've always really truly loved the pencils because I feel like it is the easiest way to draw on the fine hairs and just to make your eyebrows look thicker and more full. Refi, Refi Beauty actually has a three-step brow process. But for my everyday makeup routine, I really just kind of am lazy and stick to the eyebrow pencil because it's my absolute favorite. Um, they sell it at Sephora as well too, which I actually went and purchased my Refi Beauty at Sephora, this pencil. I wear the shade medium and yeah, I absolutely love it. I think out of every product, honestly, this is my favorite makeup product. I like to have full looking brows, so this is my go-to. So yep, I just brush my brows up really slowly and I kind of add the hairs in. Sometimes I feel like my brows can be uneven naturally, so when I pencil in my brows, I do try and maybe do it in different shapes because I feel like naturally one of my eyebrows is higher than the other. So when I draw on my eyebrows, I kind of try to like counteract and try to make them look as even as possible. So this one, I know I kind of put the hairs a little more underneath. sort of fold the ends out. In the middle, I kind of do little hair strokes. And then this one, I know sometimes I feel like I add a little extra on top over here. The hairs just to make them look more even. And then I fill it in underneath as well too. And I add the little hairs in like a diagonal line to make them look very natural, like here are my brow hairs. And then after I do that, I sort of just brush it out very lightly just to kind of help blend the pencil. And yeah, I have full brows. I love the way full brows look. I have more skinny brows, but I've been loving that full bushy brow lately. And the refry products are absolutely amazing to give you that big bushy boy brow look. I absolutely highly recommend them. So definitely make sure.
sure to check that out. Aside from the three-step brow process, Refi also has a new summer skin collection. This is a cream bronzer and this is a cream blush. And they have an amazing brush as well too, which really just helps blend everything together. So once I put on my foundation, my contour, um, I really do like to add the cream blush and cream bronzer. So I'll start with the cream bronzer. This is the color Sand. I love the cream because it gives it like a really natural glow. It's very long lasting. Just add a little color into my face as well too. And then I use the smaller end for the cream blush and I'm using the color Malaya. Gives me a really pretty natural glow. Moving on, next up I do an eyeliner usually every day. Sometimes I'll do the eyeliner, sometimes I won't. I'll just put on mascara and go without my eyeliner. But I do love a good cat winged eyeliner. So my favorite liquid liner is this Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. I love that it has such a fine tip as well too just because it's really to, easy to help draw on that line. A couple of tips when I apply eyeliner is I always look straight with my eyes open into the mirror to apply the eyeliner so that way I know what it looks like when my eyes are going to be open just because I have hooded eyes so when I close my eyes and when I open my eyes it looks completely different. I've learned that over the years if you apply eyeliner with your eye closed like it does not turn out how you want it to turn out so it's a good tip to keep your eyes open and look straight in the mirror and basically apply it as if you are looking at how you will look when your eyes are open. So I definitely use that tip a lot. Another tip I use is I only apply it to like the outside corners of my eyes just because my eyes are really small. So I don't want to put like a line across the whole eye because I feel like that will make my eyes look even smaller. I usually just start with like the bottom line. I don't connect it. I like to connect it to obviously the top of my lid. I don't go from the bottom. I go from you know, the top lid, but I like to start with the bottom line to see what angle I want of the cat eye. So I kind of make the angle at first. And then after I make the angle of what I want with my eye, I connect the point to the like, I try to make the line as like almost as straight as possible. So now that I applied my eyeliner, I finished my eyes off with some mascara. My favorite mascara is actually from MAC. It's the Extended Play Giga Black, Giga Black Lash, and it has this super fine brush. I guess I just love all sorts of makeup with really fine brushes or fine tips because I feel like it just helps allow you to be as precise as possible with your makeup. And I feel like the really thin mascara wand just really helps you get all the hairs individually. It's so great for your bottom lashes as well too. To finish my everyday makeup look off, my second favorite makeup would be my lip liner. I basically apply the lip liner to my whole lips 
and I use this NYX mechanical pencil in the shade natural. I really love this. I literally buy it at CVS all the time. I buy all of them. Every time I go in there, I'm like, if I see a natural one, I'm snatching it up. I feel like this is my go-to everyday lip liner. Obviously, I've been doing this whole video without anything on my lips and I put foundation on my lips, so it probably looks like I have no lips during this whole video, but this really helps basically just define my lips and make them look a little bigger. I like to like outline them a little extra. So this is the mechanical pencil, tip. And I'm actually going to use my mirror again because it's kind of hard to see my lips in the video, like I mentioned. So yeah, I basically just start from the top, come down, come down, and then I connect the middle in between. I like to outline the bottom a little under my lip, and then basically go on the side of my lips, and then just blend it all together. And voila, I am done. That is my everyday basic makeup routine. Obviously, it doesn't have a whole lot of steps to it, but I feel like it gives me my natural everyday look that I go for if I'm trying to just add a little makeup on during the day. Um, like I mentioned, I don't always wear makeup. Sometimes I look crazy AF and I wear no makeup and I have my hair in a bun and I look crazy. So if you catch me on the streets looking crazy, it's because sometimes I just don't feel like putting on makeup. But when I do put on makeup, when I'm shooting content, when I'm taking videos, this is my go-to makeup routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked today's video, definitely make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't yet done so, also please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a ton of great more things coming your way that you don't want to miss out on. Like I mentioned every week, I'll be posting Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to tune in and I'll see you guys next week.